Hello everyone and welcome to another random gameplay video. It wasn't a part yesterday because it was my birthday and I was too entranced by the new games that I got to kind of pull myself away from them to make a part. So my bad on that, but you know how that feels when you get a new game and you're just like into it completely. So what I'm doing here is sort of... Killing two birds with one stone, making a video on one of the new games that I got recently, and making a video on it. So here I am in Pikmin 3, and let's get this started. Obviously there's going to be some spoilers here, so scoot if you don't want to see stuff spoiled, because I'm pretty far into the game. I am at day 24, and have played 11 hours 42 minutes already. I didn't get it on my birthday, I got it a couple days before my birthday on the launch day. So, anyway, let's just get this started. And I'm going to be playing a humongous boss that I uh, took a break from the other day because I got pretty owned by it, so... <laughs> so I'm just going to land back here at the Garden of Hope. Uh, you can restart any day that you want to, I should say plenty, play any day you want to and like go back in time. The game lets you do that because it's it's got that sort of forgiving nature to it. But the game is still pretty hard overall to pull off stuff, as are uh, as is the nature of Pikmin games, I should say. Anyway, I'm going to for my strategy uh, get 30 rock Pikmin and the rest blues for this boss. Uh, at this point in the game, all of our juice has been stolen. See at the see the five at the upper right corner there. That's how much juice I have now. I've recovered. I've rec I mean, I've gotten some juice. Um, as I've been traversing my way over to recover the rest of the juice. Um, but I... It's basically a thing of that uh, we gotta uh, get the culprit who has been doing it, of which we, as the players, supposedly think it is Captain Olimar. But players who have uh, played other Pikmin games will know that it's not Captain Olimar, but Louie, who stole the juice from us. But the, these three that we're playing as right here think it's Captain Olimar. So anyway, let's go into the depths of the jungle, and here we are in the boss room. What I'm going to do here is, um, hmm. I wonder if I should have brought all the captains here, that might have been a bad idea. Like if I have some mass losses, I might not want that to, like I, I might want one captain at the base so I can bring Pikmin back over here faster. Um, then having to go back and forth between that. What's what is that vessel? Well, you might recognize it as uh, the ship in Pikmin 2. And it's a little bit broken down, so they definitely had some issues. Oh, you can't read that. It's on the Wii U gamepad. I'll read it to you. Curse that Hakate ship. It may once have been a top of the line vessel, but it, it is now an insult to my piloting. I can't wait to pay off that debt and get back in my beloved SS Dolphin. But that means I need to find something really valuable before I return home. Captain Olimar. Alright, so yeah, you, I'm sure you recognize that ship. So we are in some swampy area, as you can tell. So that's that's why I brought the blue Pikmin along. But we're still going to need the uh, rock Pikmin for this boss. I don't know this boss entirely, so I don't know if my strategy is going to work. But here we go. Let's start out by breaking it out of this crystal prism. And there we go. Cutscene time. And that's the boss. A blooming eyeball. No, actually it's not. It's the whole freaking rock and root structure in the center of this place. My god. Oh wait, there is the hole. I want to leave the rock Pikmin here because there's dangers to using them, and I'm going to leave the captains there. Alright, this is... let me lock on to you, please. Because I want to show the people the name, lock on... come on, this is sometimes finicky. There we go, the Quaggle Meyerclops. Dang it! Oh, jeez! I hope some aren't getting too squished over there. <laughs> okay, that worked out. And when they are stunned like that, grab the Rock Pikmin, and... Yeah, you're throwing stones, quite literally. Look out for the tongue! Oh, wait, it's not. <laughs> I got it fast enough before the tongue came out. Alright, regroup, drop off the Rock Pikmin. Actually, I don't think I need the Rock Pikmin anymore. Um, 
because I think uh, blue Pikmin will be most most safe around this area because of the water. And rock Pikmin at this point might just get in the way. That's why I got the majority being as 70. And <laughs> it does that to squish Pikmin, by the way. And another I want to attack. No! Dang it, rocks. Get back over there. I did not tell you to come here. Well, technically I did, but I didn't mean to. And... Captain, get over there. <laughs> no, no, don't squishy! Bad squishy. Attack! Attack! Oh, did I just lose some? Or did they just get pushed in? Uh... Okay, they just got pushed in. That's what I thought. It, 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 they don't seem to get squished by the feet themselves. Although the captains can. <laughs> but they do, they do get squished when the... Um... When they get... Oh, shoot, I gotta take them up. The slope. They do get squished when they're directly underneath the body. Attack everyone! Yeah. Oh, is this working? I think it did, I think they're too low. Yeah, they're too low. I gotta throw them up there. Look out for the tongue of doom. Yeah, that's pretty gooey. <laughs> Just gotta throw them up there. This, oh, I lost two pigments from the tongue. Oh shoot! Get up there! No, don't you dare stick out your tongue again. You are not going to lap up my Pikmin. You are going to die, and you are going to like it. Oh shoot! Regroup! Oh! Got one! He got one! Oh no! Uh, actually, I think I got more than one there. Oh, got three! Dang it! Just gotta be hasty. I'm getting its HP down pretty quickly. Go 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 go! I think my strategy is working. Okay, now get off it because it's gonna shake you loose. Alright, now get the Pikmin out from underneath it. Oh, because that could be very dangerous. Blues! Alright. I don't even know why I'm giving you tips because I've never beat this boss before, so I could be entirely wrong. <laughs> I'm just treating this as if it's a walkthrough part. Oh, shoot. Oh, no! How dare you squish them? Oh, I guess they can get squished under the feet, but it's, it doesn't give you, like, mass murders, like if they get squished underneath the central body of it. Mm, attack! This is gonna stop stomping. Oh no, not, under, not underneath it. Not underneath it. Oh, crappers. <laughs> I am such an amateur. <laughs> yes, I know we're losing Pikmin. I was there. And it's still not... Oh, okay, it's done now. Get on there! Yeah! Get attack like you've never attacked before. Maybe I should be using the the uh, ultra spicy potion. Yeah, I've never used this before, but I knew. I mean, I have used it before in Pikmin 2, but I haven't used it in this game yet. <laughs> Indeed, they are. Woo! And now they should have super high attack power. Ah! Get no, don't you? Yeah. Get destroy this monstrosity for killing my poor Pikmin. And they're just scattered everywhere around here. <laughs> no, no lickies. You're not allowed to lick. Licking is banned. In all countries around the world. Yeah. It's it's banned in the future. I should say. No, everyone back together. Everyone. One more time. Oh no, jeez. No oh, wait, the tongue's gonna come out. Uh, I, I might have a chance at killing it now. Go 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 go! Don't come out of the water. No, dang it! Uh, well, I have to jump back off because I'm gonna get stunned. Otherwise, all right, I've got. Oh, there's more over there. All right, so I gotta get locked back, locked back on you, don't I? I'm, I'm kind of out of a disadvantage unless I'm locked onto it. <laughs> Just sometimes the, it's a little bit finicky trying to lock onto something. Oh my god, that is a new attack. <laughs> there we go. An attack. I think. Oh, it just oh, it just kind of dissipated my attack. That was weird. I think I'm gonna have to do it like this. Yeah. Gotta get closer when I like unleash the Pikmin. All right. Oh. I lost some. Wait, where is my team? Oh, there you are. You got thrown on the ledge. Dang it. All right. Power up. And, oh, tongue first. Always watch out for the tongue. Arr! 
Ah, that should be it. This should. Oh, it's going around twice. That's a different attack strategy. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think it was gonna do it twice. It, it changes its attack patterns as I go, and it keeps throwing me off. But I beat it. I think. Oh, got a melon. <laughs> That's the objective of the game, is you're supposed to get fruits because the pl the planet that they're living on is starving and they need the juice from the fruit to survive. And uh, we lost a thing, I forgot the name of it, to get off this planet ourselves, and we are on the quest to look for that thing and we think, as a character, that Olimar has it. But uh, knowing the games of Pikmin, I don't I don't know the game, you know, I, have, I haven't played through the game, this is as far as I've gotten, but... Knowing how Pikmin is, it's probably inside some enemy. <laughs> Let's just look at things realistically here. So, yeah. Anyway, um, well, I can take this back, replenish my... Oh, no, I was going to say replenish my blues, but I have the shooting rock Pikmin at it. Alright. So that should be 20. Yep, one short. Okay. Right, let's get uh, Louis back to the base. And let's get this melon back, because this is probably going to give us a lot of juice. And hopefully Louie has the rest of our uh, juice as well. Uh, the texture of that fruit is simply fascinating. Indeed it is! And it is quite a delicious fruit as well. I wish I could carry this back. It looks like this is uncarryable. <laughs> I think this would lead to a lot of Pikmin. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm going to check my map here. Uh, I'm gonna pause the game. You can't see what I'm doing. It's on the game pad. I'm just gonna look around the arena to see if No, there aren't any more Pikmin around here, but okay. I just wanted to look on my handheld map here because it's, it's on the Wii U game pad. It's off-camera um, If I ever were to make a walkthrough in this game, I would of course set myself up with the Wii remote and nunchuck control so I wouldn't have to use the uh, Wii U game pad or at least I think I wouldn't have to use the Wii U game pad or see the Wii U game pad uh, But yeah so, I'm just using the control scheme that I've gotten used to right now, but uh, I would get used to a different control scheme if I were to make a walkthrough on it, is what I'm saying. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna carry this bulbar, uh, dwarf, dwarf bulbar that I killed back over there just to replenish. You're getting stuck on the wall. What? How did you manage to do that? <laughs> oh, well. Ah, uh, dandelion. Oh, by the way, you can also take pictures of stuff. Here, I should go into first person. Oh, shoot. Oh, they, they got Louie back to the base. Thanks for interrupting me, ship. Uh, we are receiving a transmission from the Drake. And it's on the Wii U gamepad again, I think. <laughs> you can see Louie on there. Analyzing recovered life form. He's apparently in a sleep state or something like that. Food thief, they call it. <laughs> life form is in stasis. Subject, spacesuit has activated for sleep mode. Being was in possession of 31 days supply of juice. Yeah, I, yeah, I actually got 31 days worth of juice, so I'm way ahead of uh, uh, the curve, uh, so to speak. So I'm not un really under any pressure uh, to get the juice at this moment in time. Um, anyway, and and one soft vinyl toy suitable for a toddler. I think they're referring to a rubber ducky that I seen in an earlier area. <laughs> I can't believe Olimar stole our juice after we rescued him, and he took the captain's rubber ducky. It is the rubber ducky! That monster! <laughs> he better have some answers for us when we wake him up. Yes, he better. Even though he's not actually Olimar, but... <laughs> oh, and I've got 69 Pikmin. Someone's definitely gonna point that out. Just like when I had 69 stars. Anyway... Get that back in there, yeah! How many does this yield, anyway? Holy crappers, I should have pulled Pikmin out of the... Um, the onion there. <laughs> but that's fine, that's fine. I got three captains to pluck Pikmin here. And it'll kind of happen automatically when I rapidly tap the A button. There we go. Everyone is good, and I've got a lot of the day left over here. So... Wait, wait, what? Where is... Where's one? I'm gonna, I'm gonna check my map again. Where is... Uh, there's one thing I noticed about this game too, is that there always seems to be a straggler that gets lost somewhere. Um, I guess you can see the map on the regular screen, except it looks different than, than the map that I'm looking here, uh, looking at here. Well, yeah, where is... I have 
a hundred Pikmin out in the field, unless I didn't pluck them all, and I'm just not seeing it in the, uh, the team, because it's still in the ground. Oh, it is still in the ground, okay. I thought, I thought they would automatically pluck. Alright, looking back at the map, whenever you look at the map, like you tap the screen on the Wii U touchpad, it, uh, automatically pauses the game. Alright, so where can I spend the rest of my day looking for fruit? Well, I think what I'm going to do here is set a course, an automatic course here, to go over there. And yes, I actually can set an automatic course, which is part of the multitasking element of this game. I'm just demonstrating... Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> the Wallywog. The Wallywog has a weakness this time. The Rock Pikmin, because they cannot be squished. Ha-ha! So it's perfectly safe uh, taking on a Wallywog because you have Rock Pikmin. Watch, just put them on right underneath there and there's just no effect whatsoever. So they gave Wallywogs a weakness and the Rock Pikmin are much needed balance for this sort of enemy. And take it on! Kill that monstrosity! Ah, there we go. I should probably take it back with some blues actually. Because I lost a bunch of blues in that boss battle, if you recall, from my uh, amateurish newbie playing, because I, you know, don't know this game very well. And I'm gonna check this data thingamabob here just to see what it is. Red Pikmin are good fighters. Thank you for telling me, game. I've <laughs> the game told me that a bunch of times already, actually. Oh, it's time's running out. Oh, jeez. Oh, wait, I just realized I need yellow for the electric fence over there. Ah, I'm burning a lot of time, but at the same time, it doesn't really all matter all that much because I've got so much juice. <laughs> I guess it doesn't... I guess it's not going to kill me that much. But I would like to get... Um, I'll let the Pikmin get the seeds up. There we go. I just don't want to... don't want them to sprout on the field. All right, let's put away some blue. Actually, I'll put away all the blue. No, maybe not. I'll... 25 blues. The rest the yellows. I just want to be able to get past. At least I think it's an electric fence. Yeah, it's an electric fence. It's, uh... You can't... Eh. Trying to get it. There! That's the electric fence. Right there. Alrighty. Oh, shoot! What did I do that for? I am an idiot. That is why. Ah, <laughs> uh, wait. Did I? That's fine, whatever. I don't think I'm gonna need that many anyway. Swap them out! Swap them out! Hurry! Everyone together! Wait, where is... Oh, there we go. So... Which... Wait... Why did I do that? <laughs> I was just kind of going on autopilot there. Uh, oh shoot, the, the fence is that way, and uh, I think I'm running too low on time anyway to do this. Um, I'm always lost on the field because my terrible sense of direction. Okay, I'm supposed to go that way. So I'm just going to put myself in autopilot to show you what place I wanted to go to this part because I was kind of curious to see what was beyond this electric gate uh, inside this... Uh, stop, please. Inside this uh, area here, as it poops you out the segment, and maybe I'll be able to get this electric gate knocked over. There's a separate puzzle in this room that requires you to knock down this gate, and I didn't have yellows the first time I came through here. Ah, uh, ten seconds. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna have enough time. <laughs> But I think I can knock down this gate, perhaps, before the time runs out. Come on, guys. Finish it. Finish it. Go. Six seconds. I think they'll make it. There we go. And I'll just let the timer run out and see what Louie has to say about himself after the, uh, the day's end here. Ah, oh, so tranquil. Well, you better get back. His nocturnal predators are coming. Ah, this all feels so familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> Except for that multicolored onion. Now they're all housed in a single onion. In my opinion, that's pretty handy. Because <laughs> you can swap Pikmin out without going to each individual onion. 
And you can do it in uh, while the game is paused, so that saves you a bit of time as well. Sorry, Bulborb, not having a meal tonight. <laughs> Alright, Louie, what do you have to say for yourself? Are they going to give me the statistics first? Oh, going to give me the rundown of the fruit. This is the Wayward Moon. <laughs> Love the names they come up with on that fruit. Some of them were used from uh, uh, Pikmin 2, but yeah. Just for consistency, I suppose. And now they're going to fill up my juice based on how much juice each fruit is worth. Uh, each one is has enough, has different variations of juice in them, so... This one's got a lot of it, and I, that's what I would expect, because, you know, it came from a boss, after all. Which I'm quite proud of beating for my first time, thank you very much. Okay, it's probably not that much of an achievement, in all honesty. But it's just, you know, it's the excitement of beating something your first time. Yeah! That's a lot of juice. I am safe, for now, at least. I've got 40 out of 66 fruit, according to my gamepad, so... I am nearly done with uh, Pikmin 2. Well, I shouldn't say I'm nearly done, but I'm more than halfway done. Because uh, uh, 33 is the halfway point. Unless there's going to be more fruit. I don't know. I guess I'll see. It's good to build our juice supply like this. We should be alright for a little while. A little while? You've got over a month's supply. <laughs> Unless Louis steals it again. I guess, guess we're about to find out how this goes. You can see on the stat there when I, got the, when I get certain things, like at the end of the day... I used one juice for the whole, um, one juice container for the whole crew, and about two thirds through the day, I got Louie and the melon. Alrighty, we managed to capture the thief Olimar, that Hakatitan, that Hakatitan who had been looting us. We retrieved our stolen food supplies, but boy was Brittany upset, and rightly so. After we all calmed down a bit, I started thinking that there is something fishy going on here. We need to get to the bottom of things. Uh, the main characters' names are Elf, Brittany, and Charlie, by the way. So, yeah. Let's see... How goes it? Another day saved. Another day safe. Okay, not that safe. Some Pikmin didn't make it, but still. Things are going pretty well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so it turns out this isn't Captain Olimar after all, but rather some other fellow named Louis, as I said. And as I knew, just because I played Pikmin 2 first. That might be a, uh, a plot twist to someone who hasn't played Pikmin 2 before. Oh, there's the rubber ducky. <laughs> but uh, since I played Pikmin 2 before, it kind, it kind of spoiled me already as to who this character is. This game doesn't have that all that deep of a story anyway, but it's, it's not supposed to. At least I don't think it's not supposed to, or maybe it's going to get deeper. But that's not the point of the game, you know, the, the point is to just have fun with the game. <laughs> Seems that seemed like that a huge monster really did a number on it, though. Food! <laughs> You're still hungry. Is that all you think about? Oh wait, not, that's a girl voice, uh, Brittany's voice, girl's voice. Is that all you think about? Didn't we just feed you? Ah, it's great to be reunited with my rubber ducky. With him by my side, I feel like I can achieve anything. Me too, Charlie. Me too. <laughs> um, is anyone listening to me? Hello, he doesn't have our cosmic drive key. We need to find out if he knows where the real Olimar is. And maybe he will. Day 25. Are they going to tune into Olimar now? Or is this going to be a continued story? I'm just kind of curious. Oh, searching for signals. They're going to take me to a new, yep, new area. Formidable oak. How many? How much fruit is there? Because there might be... Uh, what? Zero out of zero? Oh my. <laughs> so that seems to be a uh, one-trick area of sorts. I'm a little excited to try playing that, but maybe not on camera. Because I'm already playing for uh, 24 minutes here. Uh, so apparently the real Olimar is there. We finally get we kindly get our cosmic drive key back. If what Louis says can be trusted, that that's that is all right. Let's move out. I don't know if you can really trust Louis all that much. I mean, he's kind of sneaky like that. 
Oh, I'll do a check in here. If you press the Y button on the screen, you can check in with the current progress of the game and story. Curses! We lost a lot of good Pikmin out there. And on my watch, too. I failed them. No, it's more like I failed them, in all honesty. But I've got so many Pikmin in supply, it's like... I mean, this game gives you a lot of opportunities to breed Pikmin. It wasn't just your fault, Captain. What are you talking about, Elf? Of course it was the Captain's fault. He is the Captain, after all. Those poor Pikmin. Oh, great job making him feel worse. What? Um, um, well, from this point forward, we'll do even better for the sake of the Pikmin. That sounds good. And with that, I'm going to end off this random gameplay. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you later.